Hey, this is just a quick tutorial here on um, channel mapping. So what do I mean by channel mapping? Okay, so what happens is um, when I, you know, when I put some transmitter inputs in, so when I press the roll, um, for instance, the pitch moves, when I do the pitch, the yaw moves, uh, when I do the throttle, you know, it goes the wrong way. So, so what I've, uh, in, so instead of like going back in and trying to unplug these wires going to my receiver, um, I'm going to have a look at channel mapping. So there's a way you could do it. So at the moment, the channels are mapped normally. Aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. Okay, so what you can do is go into your CLI. Okay, so what I could do is in the CLI I type the word map. And it gives me my standard mapping. Um, more on elevator, throttle, rudder. And what I'm going to do is change that. So I'm going to map it to um, rudder, aileron, Elevator, throttle, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now the mapping has changed. I press save, and it's gonna reboot and save that mapping. So once I go back to the uh, receiver tab, all my channels are gonna work properly. And that's it. Um, look how you end up on that. I'll just reconnect again. So yeah, to try to, to try to figure out the, um, the order of the mapping is a little bit tricky, a um, bit of trial and error actually. But, um, but yeah, just keep going and just try your transmitter in there. Yeah, so just in summary, um, just make sure you plug in your battery um, with this plugged in and just try your TX out, make sure everything's going the right way and all the values fall between 1000 and 2000 and you can do, you can adjust your end stops and your TX to get that and just make sure all the channels are, are correct um, this is where your mapping is recorded after you've done the CLI command anyway thanks for watching and hope that uh, that gave you a little bit of insight into channel mapping thank you